Hello, Portal Squad members. It is 7.53 at night. Um, I know I said early, early this morning, around 7 this morning, I said on Twitter, I'm making a daily vlog. I'm going to post it this afternoon. Well, it's 7 at night, almost 8 at night now. I filmed it on my phone. And I tried to edit it on my phone and I didn't have space to save it and everything everything just disappeared my because it tried to save the original files didn't save and the edit didn't save so I'm here to tell you guys like six seven hours work of like Editing something. Because I hate editing. It takes me forever. So editing something and making a blog and doing all that went just it da down the drain. It's But that's the part about being a YouTube uh, YouTuber I don't like. You do so much. You, you do so much you like and then, then it falls apart somehow. Um... And it always seems to happen to fall apart when it's in editing for me. It's so frustrating. So frustrating. I need a phone with better space. Or I need a laptop. I mean, um, a camera that I can film on that won't, um, that won't crash. When I try to transfer files. So. Yeah. So this is um, me saying. A. I am sorry. Um, that that video did not happen. It sucks. Really does. Um, I do want to recap what else I did today. And what that video entailed. So I didn't have. I don't have a morning routine. I don't. Absolutely don't. But I wanted to try to make one because I want to try to keep myself to a morning routine. I don't know about now because now I was going to say I had in the video. I was like, okay, because I'm doing this morning routine and I post it. Now you guys, the portal squad, had to keep me accountable for it, at least for the time I get up. Because normally I'll get up whenever I get up. I don't have a schedule at all. It's really bad. Um... So, now I'll get up whenever I get up, and then I'll eat breakfast, take a shower, whatever, whatever order, too. Um, watch TV, and then maybe film. I'm trying to be more productive. And this whole video I had filmed was really productive. I got up at an alarm, immediately turned on my camera, immediately turned on my phone to record, got up. Um, told people I was gonna, uh, I picked out my clothes, told people I was gonna take a shower, cut the camera, took a shower, turned the camera back on so I could brush my hair after I was dressed, and put on makeup for the first time, which didn't go out, didn't go so well, because, let's face it, I don't like, I don't know how to put on makeup at all. Um, so, that happened, and for some reason I have a black eye, and I don't even know why. Um, that's not makeup. It's just for some reason I'm getting a black eye. Oh well. Um, but, so yeah. That happened. And then, um, sorry, I'm tired. That happened. And then I went and I made a full on breakfast. I made eggs. I made toast. I made coffee and, like, some uh, some fruit. And I sat down and I ate it in, the ca in front of the camera. And I'm trying to get myself to to want to eat. I don't normally eat. Um, so I try not to eat. Um, but I figured if I eat in front of a camera, it'll keep me accountable. Um, and then, so I went from there and then I, I got on my running shoes and I went for like a 20, 30 minute jog. And then I got back to the house and I had to turn off the camera and end my blog because I had uh, my hospice um, worker coming 
um, who helps me with daily living stuff, um, because I can't lift certain things due to, um, a strain, certain types of strain will, like, mess up, like, my brain or something with the, the straining of the back, I guess, I don't know, I'll explain it, um, so, like, they're, they, like, help me sweep, mop, that kind of stuff, like, pick up laundry, so I could, so, like, bring it to the laundry bat and stuff, because it's heavy, um, that kind of stuff, and then after that, I had housing inspection, like, I do every single Monday, and I don't know why I have to have it every single week, it's so weird, I did that, and then after that, I went to go edit, and that's where everything went wrong, um, spent hours trying to get it, trying to get my footage back, and I couldn't, um, and then I decided to stream on TikTok, and I did that, and that was really cool, and I got my first gifts and stuff, that was really neat, um, and I was just drawing on TikTok and, like, chatting, um, so yeah, that was pretty fun, and then I went and I was sitting down about to eat dinner and I got a call from someone who lives across the street from a farm. There's a local farm that I sometimes help out with, um, like when I have a chance and it's a service net farm, although I d absolutely despise service net because of how they treat me, um, in general, um, as a, as a disabled client. I, um, I, re I respect the animals there, and, you know, I, I take care of the farm, because I enjoy doing that, I enjoy helping people, and that farmer is for other people, not for a service net, per se, I just run by them, so I got a call from, like, a neighbor across the street from the farm, they're like, they're like, hey, um, so Tobias, the cat is still out, and no one's there, I'm like, oh, so I'm like, well, I need to go and, and get Tobias in, I know to the code to the lock, I'll, I'll get to buy a son. Because even though he's the farm kitty, it gets too cold outside for him to be outside. So I, um, I was like, oh, well, I'm going to have to get pay for an Uber. That's going to suck because it's expensive. Um, because it's like in, like in Hadley. Um, the farm's in like Hadley and I'm so, I'm like a couple towns over. Um, so I was like, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll get there, don't worry about it, like, just, just, uh, keep an eye on him, and, and I'll, and he'll probably jump up on the hood as soon as I get there, um, because he recognizes me, and says, okay, so then, I'm like, well, I'm gonna have to pay for an Uber, but I, um, got a text from my BF, my boyfriend, and he's like, hey, like, what you doing, and I'm like, he's like, how's, how's your day, and I'm like, and, and I was like, oh, it, it's, it's been okay, um, I have to figure out a way to get back to, get to the farm. He's like, oh, are you closing today? I'm like, no, I closed last night. Um, but the, uh, Tobias has been left out. He's like, oh, well, you can't walk there. I'm like, well, yeah. He's like, well, I'll, I'll pay for an Uber for you and I'll make sure the Uber is paid where, and noted where he will sit there until he needs to bring you home. I said, Okay. If you can figure out how to do that, if you can convince him to do that, thanks. And he said, sure. So, and my boy, my boyfriend, he works in a band. He, um, kind of like a, I guess you would call his music alternative. Um, and right now he's touring, so he's, pra he was finishing up practice. Um, and so we ended up, he ended up buying me an Uber. And he's like, pretty sure he's in, he's in Norway right now, he might have just landed in Norway, I'm not sure, because he was here on the 3rd of October, because I saw him, um, and he rented out a theater for me, like a full-on freaking theater, it was crazy, um, because he's epic, and he has the money to do so, um, so, Anyways, he rented the Uber. He's like, yeah, don't worry. Like, this guy's a trusted Uber guy. He'll wait for you. You know, he'll even help you with, with, with getting Tobias. And he, he said he loves cats. I'm like, okay. So I go there. 
and then we pull up, and Tobias immediately jumps on the little car, and, like, jumps on, like, the thing, and he's getting out, the Uber driver's getting out, Mari out of the car on the driver's side, and I'm petting Tobias, I'm like, Tobias, you need to go in, <laughs> and I actually have a video on Twitter of me talking to Tobias, and you hear the Uber driver, like, grunt or whatever while he closes the door, um, so I, I get Tobias in, and then I realize all the baby chicks, there's, like, 200 baby chicks, all of them are still out. They're not, they're, I, they're, and most likely not fed. Because normally the farmhands at the end of the day do that. And if they're out, and with the 500 bait, and 500 chickens are out. And I'm like, no one shut down this farm properly. N no one did. And I'm not the one being paid to do this. I volunteered. So I'm like, okay, well, it looks like we're, I'm going to put away 500 chickens. And I'm going to uh, make sure the 200 babies are fed and the chickens are fed. So I go to the 500 chickens and I look, oh, they have no feed. So I go and I bring over the feed and they immediately come in the barn like, oh, food, food. So we go over there and I feed them and then I make sure they're in the barn for the night. Um, they're all safe and tucked away and locked in there. And then I go to the chick, the chick hut. And I try to round them all up, and, and there's this one little chick I call Tobias. I mean, there's one little chick I call Harold. And little Harold, he has a little bit of a limp because he has, a, like, an extra toe. It's weird. Um, but Harold is sitting there, and he won't go in. So I go, and I pick him up, and he's immediately, like, curling into into my, like, my sweater. Because he's, he's so cold. I'm like, baby. <laughs> So I put them in the, the basically like an incubator shack. Um, I get them all wild up in there, and I make sure they're not underneath the shack or anything. They like to hide there when it gets cold. And then I get them their feed, and they all run in. They all run in, they start eating. They're so cute. Um, and then I um, check, and there's one baby chick that passed. Um, that happens every once in a while where a baby chick will pass and probably got trampled or, or a bell or, or a spell somewhere or something like that. Um, so I had to call in a baby chick so they can um, do what they need to do with it in the morning because I don't work mornings. Um, but I put it in a special area where we keep, um, if any like animals pass, we put them in a certain area. Um, and we notify, like, higher-ups. So, did that, and they're like, oh, you weren't supposed to be at the farm tonight. What happened? I'm like, like, you're, it's already closed down. I'm like, yeah, it's closed down, but all the chicks, the chickens were out, and all the chicks were out. And I'm calling, because there's a chick tie. He's like, oh, I got a call saying it was all set. I'm like, well, it wasn't. <laughs> he's like, is it possible that, that the, that the, farm door blew open i'm like i don't think so unless they didn't lock it he's like well it should be locked they know that i'm like i know i know i do that and then i get in the uber and i go home i just got home now um yeah so i did that and so that was my day um a very very long day um yeah so it was eventful, but it wasn't what I wanted it to be. You know, I wanted to be making a a, lo a blogging video and um, uploading it and editing it and everything. Oh, I'm so tired, guys. Ugh. But that didn't happen, so I'm just giving you guys an update. Um, as far as content creation and stuff goes um, in the near future... Um, I'm hoping to do a little blog every single day, um, but it'll have to be sitting here at my laptop until I can figure out how to get enough storage on my phone somehow without deleting major apps that I need, um, so, like, my bank app and stuff, so I'm just like, oh, I'm just gonna do blogs sitting here, um, so yeah, I'm gonna do blogs every day. And with um, Realm of Reigns, I am still in training as a brand ambassador for people with disabilities. And I'm working on stuff there as well. That's also why I'm not making a lot of content right now. Because um, I'm really focusing on my training. And blogging, when, blogging and um, 
play video games when I can. Uh, but it's, it's been a lot, but it, it's worth it. Um, tomorrow, I want to make a video where I just talk about my journey so far in, uh, as a content creator in general. Probably going to bring up screenshots of, like, um, people that have, like, like, uh, liked my, my, my work or, um, like, on Twitter, even though I'm not a big fan of Mr. Beast and everyone right now, um, there was a point in the beginning of my journey where I was constantly getting, like, likes from, like, Beast Palacy and stuff for all the work I do, the non-profit work I do. Um, so I kind of want to share that. I want to share how my journey in content creation in general has grown. I've only been a content creator for maybe two years. Maybe two years. Maybe. Um, I've only been doing YouTube for like a year. Had this channel for like ever, but I've only been doing YouTube for a year. So, maybe a year and some months. So, it's, it's definitely... A big journey. I know I have grown a lot farther than most creators within a year. Um, considering I reached 1,768 um, Portal Squad members. I have very little watch hours. That's because most of my subscribers came from short views. And it's really hard to get the like 10, 15 million short views. Trust me, it's so hard. Um, and I'm more or less focusing on long-form content now, so it's harder to get the 4,000 watchers, to get that plaque, um, and start getting, uh, monetized. Um, but I'm hoping to do that soon. I know I'm gonna try to do a long video every day, because I really like talking and, and, and expressing myself through blogging content, and my long content isn't gonna be like everyone else's, where there's cuts and there's fancy editing. This is literally me sitting down at camera and doing, the only thing I would probably edit is if I make a, a thumbnail. That's like it. I wanna keep everything in, all my flaws, all my mistakes, cause that's who I am and I don't mind making mistakes. I don't mind showing my flaws. To me that just makes it more authentic and it makes it more realistic. I mean, I'm gonna tell you outright, I didn't, I never thought I would make it to a thousand subs ever. And I'm so grateful for where I am. And I'm grateful for my opportunity with Rama Reigns. And I hope to continue to make content that inspires others and helps people. But yeah, so this is my mini update on um, why the blog didn't happen. And I'm probably going to name this I'm sorry because I am. I was hyping it up, a lot of people were liking the idea, and then I couldn't get it done. So, but tomorrow's a new day, so hopefully we can get something done tomorrow. Anyways, thank you all for joining. Um, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Bye!